Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Thursday the 9th, and today was a rather interesting day. Weather-wise, started off uh, really cold and rainy, and I was hoping to um, basically get my trim painted and get some prep work done in the house. With the rain like it was, the humidity as high as it was, I was not going to be able to do any painting, and really couldn't do much in the sanding and stuff, and finished prep work on my um, trim so I said to hell with it got a few things around the house here done not a bunch of stuff um, hauled my butt up to Des Moines I was out of my main house color paint the guy kind of misquoted me on how much I needed and then on top of that um, I ended up wasting a bunch with that gun malfunction so said to heck with it went up there bought uh, the rest of the paint I need I bought myself more than more than plenty I think if I don't have enough this time to do it, I'm going to be rather pissed off and I will have done something massively wrong. So, got up there to Des Moines, um, basically just kind of hit a dog park and that. Hit the uh, one pet store when I first came into town, there's a pet co there and there's a uh, lady who works at the pet store that absolutely just loves the snot out of Bruce and like, plays with him rough house with him and stuff. So, I tried to when I get there, um, to stop in there, he really seems to enjoy her, she enjoys him. So they kind of laugh and joke and have a good time and she, you know, gets set on and stuff. He'll like knock her down and set on her. It's kind of some interesting, you know, fun little time there. So she was talking about how he like hit her in the face with his tail and she's all worried about that if it left a mark, she's going to explain to her boyfriend how why she's got a black eye kind of thing. So we kind of laughed about that. From there, um, headed over to um, Home Depot to pick up some stuff I needed in that. We went and did a couple of little things shopping, went um, looking for some running gear on sale. I'm kind of a guy who really definitely likes to buy stuff on clearance when possible and ended up finding myself a really nice um, running hat. Not as cheap as I would like to have found one but it's got that little back flap to keep my neck from getting burnt but it's actually a ball cap looking front as opposed to that like fisherman hiking type looking hat that I wear sometimes when I run with that same Saudi Arabian desert type flap. So. Hopefully um, that'll work out for me there. Uh, that's the only running thing I found today. Um, I did end up picking up um, my some deck stain also out there. I might as well go ahead and stain the deck while I'm thinking about it. Although I'm not sure how well it's going to work. Seems like every time I wash the deck off, by the time it gets dry enough I can actually stain it, the dog has tracked mud and stuff up onto it. So I'm really not sure what I'm supposed to do with this, I guess. I don't know if I was going to keep him away for a few days while I get that to dry out enough so I can stain it or what I'm doing there, but hopefully I'll get that figured out. Um, went ahead and as I was driving around Des Moines, I was hoping to have a friend come up and go out to eat with me. That didn't work out. So I ended up going out to eat by myself on a new Chinese buffet. It was pretty good food actually. Got some pretty authentic stuff. Um, everything's a little mild on taste. They've got a lot of really unique stuff there. Just everything was a little bit, little mild. I'm, but I think they're trying to dumb it down for the more uh, Americanized palate is what they're after. So. Overall, good deal. Uh, I was happy with the food. Not ecstatic. It's not my favorite place yet. But I'm going to go back and give it another try. They're still in their grand opening phase, and I think it'll be interesting to see kind of how it settles in and what happens there. So then I, as I was heading back out of there, um, hit another dog park in that, and then somehow or another, my headlights in my car have been acting up lately, and it was not, I don't know, it was, it was I'd say half an hour from sunset, but probably an hour from dark. And I realized that my headlights were not working at all. I had parking lights, I had turn signals, I had tail lights. I just had no headlights at all. Both headlights were completely gone. And I was like, oh shit, it's going to suck. So headed over, um, hit a Home Depot, and looking for something like a, just a 12-volt tester and different stuff, trying to figure it out. They did That didn't work. Actually, I guess first I hit a Walmart, um, bought some light bulbs for it, some new headlights, and thinking, well, maybe both headlights burn out, which I thought was kind of rare, but... I had drove through some water here not that long ago. It was up above the headlights, and I thought, well, maybe that was what caused it. Um, the one had been acting up on me before, kind of, and I, I don't know. Thought I had it fixed. That didn't fix it. New headlights didn't, or headlight bulbs did not fix it at all. So I was like, oh great. So I headed across town, trying to get as close as I could, uh, south side of town, as I'm heading out of Des Moines to head back home. That way, if I had to call AAA or something like that to basically tow the car, I'd be on that side of town at least. Um, Ended up not being able to get the parts I needed or the tools I needed there at Home Depot. So I drove across the highway, across the main uh, four lanes and stuff. Kind of drove around a little bit with no headlights at all, which I kept waiting to get pulled over. Got to an auto parts store there. Was able to find the stuff I needed 
to get it hobbled together enough to get me home. It's by no means fixed. I'm hopefully going to get it fixed tomorrow. If not, I'm going to at least put a post-it note on it saying don't take it out of town and don't drive it where it's going to be dark getting home. So I know what I need to do to fix it now. I think I do anyway. I have to get some more parts for it. They didn't have the parts I truly needed there. They're on back or just don't stock them for an old Ford Taurus. So I got to get those ordered and hopefully I can get it all figured out and get it going. So I did have enough headlights to get home. I kind of hardwired them in, uh, bypassed the switch and just ran them directly to the uh, battery. It all worked fine. There was no issue with it. I uh, had somebody I had mentioned it to, they're like, well, be careful your battery don't drain down. I'm like, the car's running, there's no difference. And if I stop somewhere on the way home, which I, I stopped as I left the car running, all I would have done is just pull the wires to the headlights and it would have solved the problem too. So it felt pretty good to be able to hobble them together enough to get myself home, even though I'm going to have to go back out and fix it later. It was just kind of a, I don't know, kind of a nice um, handyman type feeling to know that I was able to make that work and get home safely. So other than that, um, really nothing major. Went for my run tonight. Once I got back in town, the temp dropped off. I was trying to wait as late as I could when I got home because I ate so much damn Chinese at that buffet. I wanted to definitely get my money's worth, and I definitely got my money's worth in volume alone. So that right there, um, ran a sub nine minute run, which was my knee the feeling what it is after climbing up down, painting the house and stuff, and running the marathon on Monday and that. It definitely was an interesting thing. So. That's pretty much all I had for today. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.